In previous videos in links 1 and 2 in the description, I looked at the performance of a V10 with some freshly dried microsponge dust. Over time, this dust has ground down and become more powder-like, so I thought I'd take another look at the performance measurements again, given that previously, all power modes seemed to remove equal amounts. I looked at both surface and deep cleaning performance again. The carpet used is a deep pile fitted carpet with waterproof backing technology preventing liquids from penetrating to the underlay or subfloor. For the surface test, a section of carpet was cleaned repeatedly until no more than 50mg of dust was consistently being removed. Then, 1000mg of a mix of 80% fine dust and 20% larger salt particles was sprinkled onto the surface no wider than the cleaner head. This is supposed to represent dust and dirt that lands on the top of the carpet and is easier to get than dust embedded down. This level of soiling is more severe than you'd find in general living and might represent a spillage for example. People would naturally pass the cleaner head over this kind of mess more than once, so two forwards and backwards passes at a normal vacuuming speed were used. Using a single pass, as is often seen in amateur YouTube videos, is just not representative nor is the absurdly exaggerated amount of large chunky dirt they often try to pick up. The portion of that 1000mg of dust collected was then measured. This process was repeated to check consistency of the result and an average taken, something again that's rarely done in amateur testing. For the deep cleaning test, 20,000mg of the dust salt mix was sprinkled evenly onto the surface of a fixed area of carpet and then groomed and agitated deeper down into the pile so it was no longer visible. This is supposed to represent how normal daily dust can get trampled down into the carpet. This is again a heavy dust loading and more severe than would naturally occur, but was necessary to make sure enough could be measured in each pass and to show that there's always something left behind as discussed in videos 3 and 4 in the description. The cleaner head was passed over the carpet area at a normal vacuuming speed, with strokes overlapping such that each part of the carpet essentially gets two forwards and backwards passes. The dust collected was then measured, and the vacuuming and weighing processes were then repeated for a total of 12 cleans to see how much dust was extracted each time. For this wider range of dust sizes, mode 1 achieved 90% pickup. The default mode 2 removed almost all the dirt at 98% efficiency, and max mode removed all of it. Deep cleaning showed similar trends, with higher power modes extracting more per pass. More dirt is picked up in the first clean as expected and discussed in videos 3 and 4 in the description, because there's more available to be picked up, and this reduces with each pass. Mode 1 extracted 57% of the total embedded dirt, Mode 2 extracted 83%, and Max Mode managed to remove all of it. Remember, this is after 12 sequential cleans, and in real-world living, dirt is constantly being added back into the carpet, principally at the top, and the carpet's filter-like behaviour prevents it from getting as deep as I deliberately injected it here. Mode 2 again offers the best performance compromise for good housekeeping. With different material in the same carpet, you can see there is now a more pronounced difference in deep cleaning performance between modes, with more powerful modes now performing better. It's likely in the previous testing I did, the spiky shape of the freshly dried microsponge dust was interlocking itself into the carpet. This highlights the importance of using the same type of dust in tests, and why industry standards use replica test dust, which has a calibrated particle size distribution representative of household dust. It also shows why only using sand, as seen in some amateur bedroom testing, is highly misleading, and such videos should be disregarded as having any meaningful value at measuring real-world performance, no matter how convincing it might look. This video proves beyond all reasonable doubt that the latest Dyson cordless stick backs, in all modes, can deep clean well. Mode 2 provides the best performance compromise, with Mode 1 or 3 offering the user the option of extending battery life or boosting performance in spot areas. I hope you found this video interesting, and thanks for watching.